Um, so we will be moving on to our second map in this Season 19 Power by TT Esports Week 5 fixture. Uh, CP Logjam, the first one, taken by Eshock Esports, 3-1. to one. So the underdogs really coming out strong there. Um, I don't know whether they're going to be able to replicate it this map, though. Uh, feeling, you, you talked about BK having the upper hand on a map like Granary, which they've been able to play together slightly more as a team and all have a bit more experience than these Eshock guys. How do you reckon that's going to translate into a scoreline? What's your prediction? Um, I think it's a pretty fast map if you if you capitalize on the on the mid. So yeah, let's say six three in favor of BK. Six three. So you're hoping for a very fast paced granary. Granary, of course, famed for its stalemates occasionally, but if you have really aggressive mids, it can lead to a very very quick game. Yeah, that's as, that's what um, I'm counting on. Of course, the, yeah. it can be stalematey, but once you break a stalemate, it's very punishing. Like one mistake and you lose a round. Especially, for example, if you get wiped on mid, you often lose a round, and if you lose one or the other hold, then uh, it's often a lost round as well. And we are going to be going live to our first middle. I'm going to be watching Rib to see what he can do because uh, you talked him up so much. You reckon this is his best map? What's your I prediction, see. by the way? Really fast. Now, my prediction just before we go is gonna actually be 4-3 anyway. for Eshock. Oh, are they restarting? Okay. I guess uh, Hidan failed his rollout, seeing as all the Eshock guys are calling for the restart round. So you said 4-3 in favor of Eshock, right? Yeah, 4-3 in favor of Eshock. I, uh, I think BK are gonna be rattled by losing that map outright. They haven't lost a map um, to anybody apart from the uh, the other people in the top three, you know, LBC, maincall.tf, I think they're happy to lose maps to them. Um, they view them as their real competitors. I think for BK to lose maps to a team that wasn't even in the Premiership this season and only managed to get in because GG well played folded, that's going to be a bitter pill to swallow. And I don't know whether their morale is going to be boosted enough for this game. I feel like they're not going to be able to shake it off and just approach this map with a fresh outlook. I think it's um, going to really affect them. Do you think Eshock's DM will decide Granary, or do you also think that they can strat they, that they can hold up strategically against BK? Um, I think a lot of this game is going to come down to the mid fights and last pushes, and I think Eshock are going to be able to just have a little better team coordination and uh, going to be able to back up their soldiers. I think the soldiers are going to be a big factor in this game. Um, now it's time to watch Rip uh, take us to mid. <laughs> yeah, it's finally our opportunity to watch this uh, legend of the game roll out. He's going to get there around the same time as Hidan, actually. Both of them going the lower rollout. He's ever so slightly faster. Does get a decent sticky onto him at the beginning. He's got a lot of pressure across, but Nico's so aggressively onto him. Rib goes down instantly, and Nico trades his life for that pick. Zappis and AMS now combining together to go aggressive. They're both going to get taken down, but Izzy as well is going to go down as, lo uh, well, as long as, as well as <laughs> Hidan. As long as well as Hidan, okay. Yes, that one as well. So and an entire wipe with... from BK. Yeah, Zeppis had a, had an incredibly high bomb, but uh, he kind of... I mean, he got a rocket on Izzy, but Izzy went in the other direction and then Zeppis was stranded. So after Rip went down, Zeppis went down as well, so that's when mid already ended, I think. Yeah, AMS was able to come in and finish off the kill onto, uh, onto Izzy, but it just wasn't enough to really save it. And uh, the scouts that were left alive at the end there for BK are just not able to clean up. It looks like they want to aggressively go and take Yard off Eshark. Eshark just backing off here. Yeah, BK, not really know, confident. BK know how important Yard is, so they don't want to give it up. Yeah, the, the person who controls Yard really controls the um, the rate that the game is flowing, because if, with BK controlling Yard here, there's that classic stalemate in between Yard and mid. But uh, if Eshock had control of Yard there, they're just a liberty to be able to push into second whenever they like and take those Uber trades, because they're in a much better position. Whereas if they commit to Uber pushes here into Yard, they're in a much worse position if things go wrong. Tighter choke points, not enough opportunity to flank, and they're really kind of stuck if things go sour. I mean, the, so the typical approach here would be to try a suicide first. Do you agree? For Eshock, I mean. Yeah, I do agree, but it looks like BK that's going to be coming yeah, in. Zappisai and Zap is coming in together. Izzy has to pop, and but uh, Eshock get two picks. Maybe they can wrap around BK and then force them, then collect collapse on them. 
They're going to have to go aggressively and try and get the uh, get the Uber out of Knutson. Oh, uh, Rip they lose Nico both the of their scouts. This is not a good situation for Eshock to be in, but Knutson's used his Uber for no reason. And they've used straight out of Z, just literally for no reason. And now the Uber situation is equal. All they've and got Dagoon to work with is, is their two picks. Oh yeah, of course, Dagoon is just sat, sit there, uh, sitting there up top on that forward spawn and he's going to be going for the back cap right now the people that are going to be in a position to come back are Zappa now is he's possibly one of the scouts now Ishok have to put pressure on mid yeah Zappis and Hepi are going to come back to try and contest Dagon's going to go aggressively into Zappis but uh, Zebesai and Hepi have both come back so they are going to be able to clean up Dagon but this should give Ishok an opportunity to move forwards They've actually been a little too eager about it, and Nico's gonna get dropped. If Nico hadn't gone down there, they'd be in Board, a much better uh, one position. One rocket on the medic gets a wall shot. Ah, doesn't get the second rocket. But is he is he pops and Knutson is weak. Where's Knutson? Uh, Knutson's managed to get out there because uh, Ishok had uh, so Ishok few players. Three. And that was really Bord's fault. He overextended way ahead of his medic, and now his medic's actually gonna go down and BK all the momentum to go forward here. Nobody hiding for any sort of a back cap. BK have managed to secure this. Dagon's gonna be running sniper in the forward spawn. He's gonna be trying to hit a, a crucial pick here. But BK go left yard, which is uh, pretty standard, meanwhile, I think, so you can avoid the front spawn sniper. BK yep. already in on the left side, already popped. Um, Knutson was full HP, not sure he popped there. Now AMS wants to go in, gets juggled by Stickies, and it's a tough situation for BK to be in because the cap isn't through yet. Uh, Rib gets destroyed in midair by an airshot from Dagon. AMS and Zebeside both gonna go down as well. Um, they can probably hold second here with their spawns. Zebeside's gonna spawn in two. Rib's gonna spawn in time to defend the second point. Ishak have got to be really careful that they don't overextend in an attempt to uh, cap this off. And I would be surprised if BK don't try and contest here. Zappis goes the first one in. But uh, BK are just happy to sack one player, see what they can get done and then back out. Is he down to 70 health? But he didn't even have his Uber, so no opportunity to get a force out. They were just going for a full-on medic pick. Rib's got some sticks, right yard, but they're blown. And now Ishak the ones going forwards. Now Ishok take yards for free basically because BK was, were 5 against 6, they just went back to mid. And um, yeah, it's Uber against Uber. We're seeing it more than I'd like to, but that's granary sometimes. Yeah, we've got a little bit of a stalemate developing here, but BK were very quick to uh, sort it out last time. Ah, Amos gets a pick on board. He get, ah, he gets dropped by Nixon. Nico going huge on the flank there, just cleaning up all the weak players after Bord had got them very weak actually. And uh, now Ishok going to be swarming into the point. Knutson and Zebesai so close, going to be going straight onto Izzy. The Ubers have been popped off. Nico's completely isolated from Look the rest of his Zebesai team, going. but does manage to he's get out. Oh no, he's not going to get out. There, as you say, Zebesai destroyed there. <laughs> Izzy's Izzy going to pick up the frag. The saw and the crossbow. Wow. Huge uh, plays coming out from Izzy. He absolutely minced Zebesai there. He's actually going to get flanked though from Hepi. He's only on 70 HP. He does go down two shot there by Hepi. And BK still really want to fight this even though they really have no numbers to. I think they were uh, just uh, committing there for the frag onto Izzy. They really didn't want to, uh, to be in a situation where Izzy's got uber advantage pushing second. Oh, oh. nice pace play rip on Trozo and... Uh, yeah, well played. Ishok have a lot of pressure on point, but BK have the heal, it should be pretty easy for Rip to defend point. Just and Nico going for two individual 1v1s one, there, and then uh, Zebesai takes one of his own and just destroys Hidan. Dagon's actually in behind. Dagon's up uh, in that lunchbox area. He's going to meet Zebesai if he keeps wandering around. No, he is actually going to meet Hair P instead. Oh, two shots. Hair P destroys him. Yeah, well played by BK getting the frags and now going to mid, but Rip gets rushed by. By Drozo, those scouts from Ishok are so aggressive. Oh, it taking every one on one, trying to rush, uh, rush down people. Look at this situation. Izzy oh, does have the crits, Izzy and but oh, he's gonna get Uber. it at the same time as uh, Nutson gets Uber. Yeah, and the crits is actually popped. They're gonna get Zappis, but uh, Nico goes down. And now with the Uber v crit situation, that you've got to favour the Uber and um, Ishok just crumbling. Only Bard and Dagon really left alive in any position to try and block this. Jozo's actually behind. Jozo's behind, I didn't spot him, and he's gonna take the 1v1 versus Happy and Zebesai. That's not a 1v1, Jozo. You fool, you're never gonna win that. Yeah, you had to go for it, there was no other way. I mean, backcapping is not an option either, I think. 
No, I don't think. I uh, think he did the best that he could out of a bad situation there, but this is not looking good for Eshock as they are going to lose this first round. And a bit of a momentum shift in the way of BK, perhaps. Yeah, I mean, in those those stalemates were not very stalemate. The BK just went for it most of the time. They just tried something, got a suicide in, and then pushed. Yeah, and they, they didn't to, just wait for the suicide to respawn most of the time. They seem to thrive off the uh, off the flow of the game being back and forth. They normally get the better of it. Whereas Eshock, a little more happy just to sit back and wait for a good opportunity. We have gone live with our second mid. The frags all go in the way of Eshock. AMS is going to bomb in to try and reverse that. Does get some nice rockets. And Rib actually combining together to pick up Izzy and Droso. Bod goes down as well to the pocket of AMS. Nico, the only one left alive after it was looking so good initially for Eshock. He's going to get taken down full wipe. But they have lost their medic. And so they're not going to be able to go all the way to last with their Uber advantage. Yeah, it looks like experience prevails. I mean... Eshock didn't, they seem to be in a good position there, They he done, didn't take much damage from Rip, and yeah. Well, I, they... think, I think actually that that was the whole problem. Um, they got those early picks, but then Rib went huge and managed to pick off Hidan right at the beginning of the mid. And I think from that moment on they just had the, uh, the momentum to really push forward. And then with uh, AMS bombing over combining with Rib, they just destroyed Eshock. Uber's going to be equal. Zebesai's just going to rush in and see what he can do. He's going to pick up uh, Droza. He's also going to pick up Dagon. He does go down for it though. And surely this is going to start the push off from BK. They are edging onto the point. He's going to get those tiptoes onto the second point. Capping it off a little around the corner. Trying to avoid that damage coming out from Hidan and Bord. Oh, Bord gets dropped from that Uber charge. That's a bad situation to be in for Izzy. But as two pipes by Hidan on her P and her P and Rip. Oh wow, I missed that. Big place by Hidan. Nutson has to run. It's only him and Zebozai. They're running. Eshock won't be able to take mid, I think, because spawns are pretty close to mid, and two spawns are already coming in one second. So nice one on one by Zebozai, killing Nico. Nutson is picking up the rest of the players. And BK should be able to hold mid because um, Eshock don't have heals. Yeah, no heals from them. And uh, they're coming in right now, but Hidan's getting a ton oh, of damage. Nice pipe. I don't think they really realized where Hidan was. And uh, they just tried to pile in there. Dagon's going to get a pick on the opposite side. And suddenly it looks bad for BK. The heals have almost arrived on mid. And they're going to be able to cap this off and really looking to move forward. They're going to have a slight uber disadvantage, but... It shouldn't hurt them that badly if they can make their way into Yard. Uh, that really depends on the frags that are going out in these little exchanges across the map though. And with that one little pick advantage, it looks like they are going to be able to hold Yard here. Zebusai actually gets Zebusai it down as well. is going him. He so really crazy. is. He's going crazy. Joseph's got a, a little bit behind, but he's going to lose his 1v1, I think, to Happy on the flank. Meanwhile, the rest of BK have swarmed forward. They're destroying people. Rib takes down Izzy. Uh, Drozo does go down in that exchange behind as well. Big and place coming out from BK. I am trying to... Uh, it's hard to follow this match sometimes. There's so much action going on. and uh, So now, BK are left with some uber advantage. They have mid, they have spawns incoming. Trying to get into yards. But... Oh, he done is caught out here. He done is uh, stick it off. Rip doesn't have a scout to rush, he doesn't know, now he has. That's really gonna hurt them. BK are gonna be able to take this point. Oh, They're just gonna watch out for any aggression, but it'd be so risky here from Eshock to try and aggress onto them. I think BK are in the clear. There, Dagon's from behind! Oh, Dagon's gonna try and come in, he doesn't, he gets a ton of damage onto everybody, everyone on about half health there from BK. But they're gonna push in, because they know that they only have a sliver of uber advantage. It's actually 30%, they probably could've waited for a little longer was actually. Was rushing? He done goes down and now the point is wide open. Is he going down as well? Izzy as well, yeah. And surely they're gonna be able to pick this up. They just need to chip down Nico and the last spawn from Dagon's gonna be too late. 2-0 the score, 18 minutes remaining. Still enough time for Eshock, but they need to uh Zebozai has been doing so much work. That's yeah. incredible. Let's I watch him this mid maybe. 
That's a good idea. I feel like BK um, are, are breaking up the fights and making everything very scrappy. Fights hang, happening in three places at once some of the time. And BK just able to th thrive there because they have such great DM, especially, as you say, Zebasai. And let's see what he's up to. Playing on the top ground at the moment, just possibly waiting for the aggression out of the soldiers. He's done 30 HP, doesn't go down. But he does go down. Ah, he does. Okay, that was has good HP. He's full now, and but there's a solid top. He can't really contest him and tries to help Knutson. Knutson is dead, and Sabozai not really making an an impact here this mid. No, unfortunately not, as the aggression was just too much from the soldiers in particular of Eshock. Happy gonna be uh, the first respawner, possibly gonna be able to uh, to hide somewhere. What's he up to? It looks like he is actually going a long drop down. Maybe he's gonna hide at the top there. Or, uh, no, he's gonna drop down and possibly set up somewhere else. Underneath! He's oh. gonna go for a risky play! That spot is always checked. The TF2 uh, center spot. Yeah, exactly. That, uh, that's a very obvious spot. I'll be surprised if he shocked do not check there, but you never know. They're gonna be moving through fairly soon. Oh, that's the scout a look. for him now. That was like, goes down, and now they won't expect him to be, Oh my god, he shoots the scout. He's he appears stuck. <laughs> he gets minced, but he does take down Nico. <laughs> but that's a two for one trade. Nico effectively baiting both of the BK scouts. Poor, poor play from them. But is he really needs to get forward with the super advantage if he wants to be able to take more than uh, just second here? Joso's gonna suicide in. Not a good idea, really. And they're still gonna go forward with this, even though they're two down. They think Uber they have more of an Uber Uber advantage than they think. Just got it. Boots and pops, and he has 70% Uber to work with. Can he? Can they get some frags? It's one frag on Degun. But not anymore for now. Is that rushing in? No, it was her P. Her P uh, rushing Nico and somebody behind. Oh, he then goes down as well. PK Happy making good use of the Uber. Flag. Nice jump by Rip, um, finishing off Izzy, and it's only, I think, Degun on mid alive or board? It was board on mid. He's behind. They don't know he's there. One direct rocket. Knuts on 5 HP. Surf out, takes the HP. Guy. Yeah. Nice Jos rocket by board though. Yeah, Jos is going to be running Sniper in forward spawn. It'll be interesting to see if he can get anything done. He is going to be uh, sitting in there with the door closed. Unlike the last time we saw someone sniping from forward, so it made it a little obvious. Um, nuts and last time though, did just take that left hand route uh, to completely avoid the forward. And actually, it looks like the aggression is going to be coming out proactively from... Oh no, that's terrible. With Jozo in forward spawn on Sniper as well, that means only three real classes up for Eshock. And they're positioning so far forward. BK could really punish them, but maybe they're just getting baited in. Jozo's actually... No, Jozo's peaked too early. Oh, he's down. Are there unreal classes, Hedgehog? <laughs> yeah, Jozo's was a fake class on Sniper. <laughs> He's just made of Lego. Izzy no. is eighty percent already. Mm. BK are pushing out, on, uh, pushing in on the opposite side. Zep is on top. Izzy 97, 98. He gets his Uber. Zep is got destroyed on top, and now Izzy has seventy percent Uber to work with. Board shooting at everyone. Not really getting kills here. Yes, he watch behind. Yeah, yeah, as I say, I mean, all of these fights very scrappy, oh. but uh, BK not actually coming out on top on that one. Just Jozo sticking next to Izzy, able to defend him fairly well. And uh, now with three picks from BK, or three picks on BK rather, they're going to be able to pick up second and really push this forward. So Jozo's getting aggressive. BK. Yeah, um, of course, Happy and AMS not getting their spawn for two seconds, and they're going to be so far away from the fight. I feel like it's a really familiar pattern on... Um, on Granary though that you often can't use your Uber advantages because uh, you have to walk a lot and uh, you can get delayed on the points on second for example and then the opponent gets Uber. So we've seen this multiple times in this match now. And It'll it really be interesting it to see how this Uber exchange goes as well. Um, they're holding in a very strange position here and Zebasai is just going to Uber straight onto them. It'll be interesting to see where the board can actually get a lot of damage out. AMS has gone down to 12 health and Zebasai is kind of stuck in. He's going to go down. And Zap is going to actually pick up a frag from window. May might be able to pick up oh, Dagon as well. Izzy is 7 HP. Nice touching by Izzy. Wow. And actually heals up Derozo who was only on 40. Dagon survives there just by virtue of getting so much damage out of his black box that he's healed himself. 
So nice play by him to stay alive as well. Hidan with the huge bomb in. He's gonna not actually put out as much damage as I thought. Knudsen's gonna get stuck in though a little bit. He's uh, only on 90 health, but it seems he's kind of committed to that choke point. Look at PK, they want to defend this. They have spawns, they have front spawns. Her P gets a pick. Rip getting pressured by Digoon. Zebuzai kills Digoon immediately and well played by BK here. Zep is jumping, is he? Is he going so low? 50 HP <laughs> and he gets an escape plan trick on uh, Idan. What a play, what a play. Izzy and gets rushed too. Great decision making by BK, blocking mid, uh, using their front spawns, being aware of it. Um, yeah, that's, that's I think what experience uh, yeah, does for you on Granary. Yeah, definitely. Oh, Zebusai just going too aggressive. I think he's uh, a little too confident now after winning all those 1v1s, just putting himself in a bad situation, expecting his DM to win it for him. But BK have Ubered here, so they should be fine. Um, Izzy goes down, Dagon as well, they've got to pick on Nico, They're, all the frags are coming in here and with only Bard left alive they are going to whack it up to 3-0. Bit of a roll at this point, The uh, every situation just seems to favour BK. They don't have um, they don't have huge advantages but the little ones that they do have they make work and they make them count. And another thing about BK, um, sometimes it looks like Zebuzai running in doesn't achieve anything but he distracts a lot and he makes room for his combo to follow up. Uh, that's what AMS does a lot. And we are going to our fourth middle. We'll see what happens here in the War of the Demon Man. Oh. Hidan prevails. Look at Rip getting Rip gets by Hidan. spanked. And now the aggression's going to come out. The counter aggression really from AMS as he bombs in. A lot of frags going their way. Nico Digan and Izzy down. Board really just desperately trying to pump out some damage. He's yeah, the uh, scouts of Happy and Zebusai, they're missing a lot on him, but he just wasn't able to hit a shotgun of his own. And now finally they clean him and Hidan up. And that's going to be another full wipe from Eshock. I, I really overestimated their efficacy on middles, I think. And it seems to be BK who really know how to play this mid well. Yeah, I mean, maybe Eshock overcommitted a bit on Rip because Hidan had so many stickies behind Rip. Then they rushed him, Rip had to go back into the stickies, Rip died. But he didn't really it didn't really bother him and BK. Joseph's gonna get a headshot on Zebusai as he tries to cap off that point and uh, Happy gets baited in. I look at Bot, 28 board. HP. Gets arrowed maybe. He's asking oh, for an arrow. Also another nice headshot onto BK uh, onto Rib, sorry. Just as he opens that shutter door. Nice play by him. Uh, they're gonna be able to hold this then, because uh, they're gonna have to wait for the spawn from Rib, surely. And that's gonna creep Izzy Zuber up. Um, um, um actually a fairly fast spawn by Rib. Izzy Zuba really only on 60% and not building as fast as he could be either because Dagon has off-classed onto Heavy. Uh, they're just going to be getting buffs here trying to block the Zuba as it comes in. They have the Heavy and the Sniper but really Dagon not absorbing that much damage. He's going to get the frag onto AMS surely, yeah, just propelling him up in the air. And uh, it does look like they are going to be able to hold this despite losing their medic, but that's going to give Nutsen another huge advantage. Actually, no, they're not content to wait for the advantage. They're just using the heal advantage to push in. Vaud's going to be flanking, taking down Nutsen in a few moments, possibly. With only Zebusai and Rib really left alive, Vaud and Hidan going to be able to defend this. Nice play from Hidan to take down Zebusai and Rib. AMS and Hair P, are they going to be making plays onto Izzy as... Uh, as they push out. Looks like AMS is hiding up top, along with Happy actually. They might go for a back cap. AMS goes for the back cap while uh, Happy blocks the point. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here as AMS is actually on the point. The rest of his team blocking. Zebusai gets the block along with Rib and AMS is able to cap the round off for his team. 4-0 feeling. That was a long fight. <laughs> um, so long. Yeah, it worked all there. I wasn't sure, maybe the scout should have gone for the back cap and the solid blocks, it could be more effective. But, yeah, who am I to criticize them if it works? <laughs> yeah, definitely. They did manage to make it work. 4 0 the scoreline, 9 minutes remaining. Eshock really got to pull something different out of the bag, especially on these mid fights. Um, Hidan getting completely sticked off from the health kit. Meets Zappis as well as he pushes down, but Dagon helps him out with that frag. Nico going aggressive across the point, puts a lot of pressure on Rib. Rib getting finished off by Dagon, and Dagon picks up another two. Great play by him, and they haven't lost anyone, and the only person left alive, Hair P. Hair P now going to be making an attempt possibly... Look at him using the winger, he's on top of oh, the trade. Oh, sick plays! Uh, <laughs> and he gets arrowed by, by Izzy, wow. Izzy um, getting Izzy's so many frags. Izzy's arrows have been on point. They really have, they're helping him out in some real situations here. He's not just firing them off willy-nilly though, he's uh, actually using them in good situations. Oh, Zebusai gets oh, a nice headshot. Down. 
Board yeah. goes in, gets the medic. Three rockets, nice. But Zappis has picked up the mm. scout yeah. as well. They're really was... gonna miss their people here. Zappis has actually fallen to death. And uh, is he left alone? I don't think his arrows are gonna help him out in this situation. He does <laughs> yeah, actually no, get a frag. I called it too early. Sorry, AMS. The caster's curse. You had to go down just to prove me wrong. And uh, he, he didn't manage to get out there, but he does get a kill. And yeah, so after BK he then not died, able then to push. Bot, bot got in single Uber, and the rest of the team died. So, hmm. not the best situation for Ishok. They should have taken the scout in with Bot to Uber him. But yeah. Let's see what they're up to here. Well, Izzy seems to be running the crits, Krieg. He's going to be pumping that up. But BK are going to be pushing, actually, through the top. A non-Uber push from Granary last. What is this? They realized that Drozo was on Sniper and uh, that Izzy was nowhere near his Uber. And they've just decided it just to push. And it's worked out really well for them, actually. But now they've lost both of their soldiers and Zebesai. Just a uh, nice patient play here from Eshock. They give up the point and trade it for a few frags. And now they're looking like they're in a better position. They need to be going quickly though before Nutson gets his uber charge up. Hidan's got the sticky primed and ready, but Izzy didn't use the uber. And uh, he's saving it for after their uh, their uber phase. Surprise crits gets ripped, but yeah. Too many people from Eshock have died here though, in my opinion. Oh, nice sticky at the end, uh, getting AMS and Knutson piping the scout. Izzy wants to uber him, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's not really working for Ishok. They they get outsmarted uh, a lot of the times. Yeah, that just seemed like they got a little outplayed there. They weren't expecting the push up from BK to be fair, neither was I. Uh, but they their positioning just wasn't good enough to be able to counter it. They lost players early, and even once they got all those counter picks, they weren't able to really do anything with it. They just lost everybody because they put all their eggs in one crits basket. And now a bit of a fight happening on mid. They're going to take two 1v1s. Nico uh, puts in a bit of damage. Dagon's going to try and finish some people off, but nothing's going to happen here. And Eshock really committing too many people to these uh, solo plays, in my opinion. Yeah, here, I mean, they had decent spawns coming in, but um, one or two people were still fighting on mid, although they should have waited for the spawns and then fought together. Yeah, why are you taking the, uh, the 2v3 situation when you could wait for the rest of your team and take a 6v3 or 6v4? And um, as the Ubers slowly near completion, it looks like we're going to be reaching another step between mid and second, but I will be expecting BK to break it very quickly. Break it, they do. As they swarm out there, what is he for it? He when he is so close. And the Ridiculous. frags are coming in for Ishok. They they need this round if they want to win because it's only five minutes on the clock. They do, and that's a good start. And everybody down apart from her P. A stack or go? That's the question. I mean, stacking could deny forward spawns, but they decide to go forward, ignore the back cap. I mean, yeah, that's that's fine. Now the front spawns are coming in. And is Tikun aware of it? Tikun? Ah, they did block the back cap. Okay. And nuts and actually good as well. <laughs> that a spawn camp there, I missed it. All I saw was the kill feed with Hidan killing nuts and. Oh, goodness me. Happy going down as well in that, and uh, Hidan's now gonna get his spawn. He's not gonna have to be forced to go aggressive here, because with only four and a half minutes remaining, they do need to pick up four rounds. Already tough. They don't need to make it any tougher by waiting around. Is he's gonna have his uber charge up? They're gonna be wanted to push into last. And they're gonna be going forward. Bika really putting a lot of pressure and pops out the uber so early. Board's gonna have to make a, a good deal out of this. Actually, just retreats. But they can't afford to retreat. They have to keep pushing forwards and just and believe in, in their DM. Gets one pick, gets two oh picks, my god! Good play. Just jumped in. Only the heavy and the Sully left. Um, Ishok have heals. He done focusing the Sully. Heavy goes down and uh, actually on a map like Granary, if you wipe the mid and go last, you could get uh, three rounds in three and a half minutes. Could yeah, you? definitely. Yeah, yeah, you definitely can. It can only take something like 50, 52 seconds to win around on Granary. But the thing is, you have to have such good middles. They're going to have to have three good middles in a row here. And uh, from what we've seen so far, that'll yeah. be a tall order coming out from them. So we're going to have to see something different. I'm actually going to be following Dagon to this mid to see what he can do. See if he can pull anything different out of the bag because uh, he's been impressing me so far. 
Gonna be running the normal rocket launcher for more. Oh, for more firepower. It's going to take down Rib and Nuts. A nice play from him. But the flank, tank, Zebsai and Hair P, they're gonna be looking to go crazy right now. They're going forward. AMS takes down two, Drozo and Bord. The only is person he left alive is Izzy. Oh, yeah, he is. He's <laughs> destroying him. Twice. Is he gonna be able to pick up the frag? No, I don't think he is. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Happy <laughs> just spoiling that little melee duel they had going on there. But uh, yeah, is he seems to really be good at defending himself with these arrows? It's um, it's a bit of a niche uh, ability. It doesn't really he, um doesn't really he, help that often, but it's it's really come in useful. He probably learned it by playing uh, with Digun as pocket, who was very roamy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has to constantly defend himself. Well. Getting back to the action, two and a half minutes remaining, and they need to pick up three rounds. If they don't cap within the next half a minute... In the next minus 30 seconds, probably. <laughs> yeah, they are really in trouble, and uh, when they're facing an Uber disadvantage... <laughs> Drew gets a pick onto Rib, but I fear at this stage, all is lost. The last two minutes of the game, Izzy and Hidan are going to get minced by this Uber coming out from AMS. BK probably going to be able to draw it to 5-1. Some spawns coming out in 3 seconds, but it might not be uh, quick enough. <laughs> Is he actually gets a saw there onto Zebesai, uh, onto Nutson, sorry. It's not going to make any difference. 5-1 the scoreline. It's now officially out of Eshock's reach. I think they'll be happy with the 3 points that they got from Logjam, though, if we're being realistic here. Uh, they were the yeah. underdogs coming into this. They definitely should be, and... Uh... Again, on Granary, BK's experience was just too much, and yeah, it couldn't have been more one-sided, except 5-0, of course. Yeah, let's have a look at Zappis this mid, see what he can pull out. The uh, the other Roma for the other team is going to be going forwards. He's uh, flanking, actually, getting into their ramp room. Going to be taking a 1v1 against Jozo. Meanwhile, Izzy and Hidan going to be pushing across that top area with board flanking as well. Board onto Nuts and completely destroys him. Here's a semi-decent mid coming out of uh, Eshock, but just again, the scouts from BK are always the last ones to die, and they've just got all that cleanup strength. Happy actually hitting 100 points above his medic. Huge plays from that guy. I'll be interested to see the logs after the game to see how well him and Zebesai have done. It's not normally classed as a scout map, but uh, the way that BK are playing, throwing their soldiers in to really make room and do a lot of damage at the beginning and having their scouts play more passively, it means that they are able to clean up and uh, they're doing it well. Yeah, it's a great ability for Skull to stay alive on a map like Granary where soldiers are so dominating. With only 15 seconds remaining, no hope. And BK they're not going to be able to make it 6-1 though. BK saying uh, P has one good game per year, we got lucky. <laughs> Lucky plays, perhaps, then, for uh, Happy to hit 102 points, then, as the timer official goes. BK gonna take map two in this week five fixture in the Premiership division. And um, how does that change the tables? Let's, I'll just have a quick look at the tables as you bring the logs up. Um, it shouldn't actually change the standings, as far as I know. It is going to put them ahead of um, LBC, but uh, they have played an extra game. So if LBC are able to uh, really not drop points to uh, teams that they shouldn't do, I'm going to call BK out there for dropping dropping points to a team that they shouldn't have done. But uh, that's just the way that it rolled on Logjam. They proved that they were the better team on Granary, though. Let's have a look at some logs, though, feeling before we yeah. go into any kind of... Uh, of interview. I mean, look at this look. Look at Rip and look at the scouts. I think that tells a story about this map. Her P with uh, 43 frags, that was I with 35 frags. Oh my Rip, goodness, uh, that's sickening. Rip Her, with Her uh, P doing well. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> Rip with uh, 10,800 damage. And I mean, the scouts combined for a 78 frags. That's ridiculous. They putting their team on their backs there, Happy and Zebasai, and just dragging them through Hellfire to uh, to bring it to that five one game. And they... Happy additionally additionally putting um, nineteen caps on his back to get his one hundred and two points. <laughs> yeah, nice cap points, Happy. No wonder you got a hundred points. 
Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, Isha was lost this match badly, and it it reflects in the locks. Izzy had much less ubers this game than on lock jam, for example, and uh, damage wise, they couldn't really. Uh, I mean, damage wise, they could uh, compete against BK here, but frax wise, it's just uh, an an incredible cleanup advantage for BK. Yeah, and I think that was the difference. They were able to put out the damage on mids, but with uh, Happy and Zebusai just surviving every mid fight, they were just able to destroy whatever was left of E Shock. Uh, 